So welcome to linear motion, part two. Part one, I handle vehicles moving in opposite direction. Okay, one this side, one the other side, they are moving towards that. This time, they are moving towards the same direction. First one, opposite. Now, same direction. So I get an example. Okay. This is K for Kisumu. Kakamega. Kitui. K. So it fits all of you. But for me, because this is K. Kisumu. Kisumu and Nairobi. The distance between them is 500 kilometers. I don't have the question. I set it. Okay? A bus, B for bus. A bus leaves Kisumu at 8 a.m. moving at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour towards Nairobi. Okay? A bus leaves Kisumu, which is 500 kilometers away from Nairobi. That bus is moving at 60 km per hour there and it left Kisumu at 8 a.m. Okay? Scenario 2. C for a car. Mercedes. A car. A car leaves Kisumu at 9.30 moving at 100 km per hour towards Nairobi. So the bus and the, the car are moving towards Nairobi. Do you remember? This is same direction. There. So you put it in a simple diagram, a sketch, but accurate sketch, not just sketching. Okay? So this is my scenario. Two things I taught. No, three, major. Okay? One, can you recognize time difference? Yes. There is eight and there is nine, thirty. The previous lesson I gave you time difference straight. Two and a third hours later. You see? Two and a third hours later. So that was straight away time difference. This time I give you time of the day. For the bus and for the car. No big deal. Time difference, subtract them. What does that lead me to? Here. That gives me a tool to calculate the distance the bus traveled. Which is speed of the bus times time difference. What is time difference? So simple. 1 hour, 30 minutes, 1 and a half, 3 over 2. 60 is the speed of the bus. Time is 1 and a half, 3 over 2. I get 90 kilometer. This is the analysis. That there is Kisumu here. For example, I write in blue. Kisumu here. This is Kisumu. The bus has covered some distance. Nairobi there. Nairobi there. So this bus has covered some distance. Which distance is that? 90 kilometers. Okay. You can get the remaining part. You see, once you know 90 and you are given 500, you can always compute the other part, okay? I don't need that. I'm following up what I taught. So this part must be okay. Number two, time to meet, time to overtake. At what time, okay, was the bus overtaken? At what time did the car, Mercedes, 
meet the bus. Time to meet or overtake basically is distance between them at common time. So what is the common time? The bus is here, new position of the bus, B prime, 930. The car is still here. So what is the distance between them? 90. 90 divided by relative speed. So I want to focus down a bit here. Okay? I'm here. Time to meet or overtake is distance between them. Distance between. I hope you can see. The bus initially was here, but its new position is here. So this is the common time. The car is leaving at 9.30, but the bus went. It is longer. It went. So at 9.30, we can tell how far these two are separated. 90 divided by 40. How did I get 40? Relative speed. They are moving in the same direction. 100 minus minus uh, minus 60 some people call it approaching speed it's like we are freezing the the bus we see how will the car move yes so this one this one is simple this one cancel then four goes here twice and one over four you can manipulate this the way you want. Okay? These are hours, by the way. Then now, come here. Analysis. Analysis. You know, if you want to get marks, you must be also clever. Analysis. This is Kisumu. This is Kisumu. Let me write ki, Kisumu. The bus moved to new position in one and a half hours. That was the time difference there. Okay? So the new position at 9.30 here. Okay? Now the car at 9.30 is still here. We have calculated that it will take two and a quarter hours to meet. So it is this to meet that one, eh? Okay, so two and a quarter hours. Even this will take the same time, but they'll travel different distances. So the car took two and a quarter hours. Now, once you analyze this, the questions on the distances are very simple because you have tools. You, you remember this? Remember that? We focus, we focus here. Yes. Remember that? This speed is distance over time. Distance is speed times time. Speed times time. So once speed, there are only two speeds. There are only two vehicles. So which vehicle is he addressing? Bus or car? Take it speed. Time. This gives you the time, okay? Gives you the time. That is a good backup for the first lesson. I don't need to continue with the linear motion, no. I want you, it to prick your mind, struggle, get questions that have answers, you will get all of them. Bye-bye.